The last Wheel of Mutt episode was the wild card playoff. Send Kyir Elam Housen. Housen Elam Big Juice. Let's go. Our first wheel spin landed us the best, most expensive player in the game, limited Tyreek Hill. And he ended up being a massive part of that game as on fourth and two, Tyreek cooked his man coverage. Tyreek caught a field! And secured a clutch fourth down conversion. After halftime, our opponent wanted to test the user. And Ray Lewis was having none of it. Lurked. Opponent! Don't you test me like that! Let's go! And after marching down the field, Rob Gronkowski found himself in single coverage. We found our way into the end zone. Caught! End zone! We found ourselves a rage quit. He's gone! And today... Dude, why does my camera keep doing that? Fuck. Oh. And all of that leads us to today, the NFC Championship. Look at this top five, boys. It's so incredible. Tyree Kill, Richard Sherman, Gronk, Ray Lewis, Vince Wilfork. It's, oh, it's a beautiful sight to see. And one of the coolest things ever, the Christmas challenge wheel. If I complete the Christmas challenge wheel, I can open one of the mystery presents. And on my first mystery present, I actually got a lavish present. This lavish present to me is obviously a Seattle Seahawk, but I just don't know who it's going to be. I was theorizing like Marshawn Lynch, maybe Jamal Adams, maybe a Kenneth Walker, but we don't get to see that till Christmas. All that said, we got three wheel spins and an NFC championship to play. I could use an upgrade at center. I could use a fullback upgrade. I could use an MLB two upgrade. I could use a right end upgrade for Nick Bosa. Other than that, I really like how this team looks. Let's get it, baby. It's the NFC championship. It's time to lock in. I want a Christmas Super Bowl. Bad! We're gonna get a pack a punch. Ooh, who on this team can really be pack a punch? So Derek Thomas does have a 91 overall available. Low key, I could pack a punch Derek Thomas and move Derek Thomas to right end. Cause I've been talking about that a lot. I, that is literally my only option, but it's not a bad option at all. Nick Bosa is severely outdated. Now, as you're watching this video, I hope, I hope that somehow Nick Bosa got an upgrade. I would love it if you're watching this video and he got an upgrade and I don't see it yet. But as of right now, this is looking like one of the worst all time wheel of mutt prestiges, which is really sad. 81 speed, he didn't even have good like, He's just not it. The Pack-A-Punch wheel spin lets me take one player on my team and update them to the best version possible. We currently have 88 Derek Thomas on the lineup. But here's 91 overall Derek Thomas. Let's compare him to uh, Nick Bosa because it's it's going to be literally night and day. Derek Thomas is faster, more acceleration. He's stronger, more tackle, more play rack, more block shed, more power moves, more finesse moves. Literal no-brainer. This was a very nice upgrade to get Derek Thomas down there. D-line is looking nasty now. Warren Sapp, Will Fork, Derek Thomas, and Bruce Smith. Only issue is my only backup middle linebacker now is G Gold, Jim, and Davis. I've kind of just traded spots on my lineup that have a vacancy now, but I'm gonna be honest, most of the defenses I run, the MLB 2 doesn't even come in. In fact, probably none of them. If I make my substitutions correctly, this literally will not matter. Also, I could potentially shore it up right now with the second wheel spin, but getting Derek Thomas in there is a huge start already. I'm sorry, Nick Bosa. We gotta find you a card, buddy. 150k, one player. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Kyrie Elam's been so clutch. I'm not getting Kyrie Elam out of there. I think we go center here. There's a 90 overall Corey Lindsley. Alex Mack. 91 Alex Mack, 139,000. Please, please, please. Oh! Dude, the next most expensive Alex Mack was 150,000 and a 100 coin, so I couldn't have bought him. 91 Alex Mack is our new center, a plus six at center. Just barely under the price. Look how good he is. 92 strength, 92 run block. Damn, he's amazing. All around, just great stats. 91 overall legend Alex Mack added to center. He's now the centerpiece and the best player on my offensive line. Love that. Offense is nasty, dude. I am gonna make one more change too. So I gave Tyreek Hill slot apprentice so he gets the extra hot routes that slot. I did not use it a single time last game. I'm going to switch this to mid in elite. He actually, Tyreek dropped a very crucial ball in the middle of the field on fourth down last game. Mid in elite would have been so clutch there. So I'm going to give him mid in elite. I think that might come in handy more, but honestly, neither of those abilities are that good for me. So, and that takes us to our third and final wheel spin. Loki, I just want to get Jamin Davis out of there. That just is... That just does not look right in the NFC Championship. We'll see if we have an option. Madden 24 has been the year of the division wheel. I can get any single player from the AFC 
Jeez. Oh, AFC East is the Dolphins, the Patriots, the Bills, and the Jets. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This might be the stupidest card in this game, but this is actually exactly what I need. Left outside linebacker Josh Allen has 93 speed, 90 excel. He has zero AP lurk artist. He's in the AFC East. Oh my God. Dude, I, that actually physically pains me to buy this card. It's the white Josh Allen. How do you mix that up? <laughs> so crazy. He actually is so good that he's not my MLB two. He's actually should be my right outside linebacker. I don't think it really matters if he's left outside or right outside. I guess I guess I switched Josh Allen and Derek Brooks here since they then they, they then go to their true position, I guess. So Derek Brooks lurk artist goes at right outside linebacker. Josh Allen 93 overall pass coverage linebacker goes at outside linebacker and MLB two becomes CJ Mosley. Josh Allen has a fifth ability slot and lurk artist for zero AP. I have literally no idea why did they do this i don't know i don't get it though so like what is the mix up monday promo because there's an isaiah pacheco strong safe who is mixing up who is getting mixed up with pacheco at strong safe i get it there's two guys in the nfl named josh allen one i would let date my daughter one i wouldn't let within 500 feet of my house right what about pacheco oh i'm gonna free up two ap here i'm gonna take lurk artist off of cj mosley we're gonna take homer off of derwin james and now there's two ap available for somebody who do we want it for? With that extra two AP, we'll activate pick artist on Justin Simmons. Dude, Terry Kennard, the Giants free safety, was such a good corner last game. He played amazing. He also was shedding blocks so well on the edge. I love that decision, and I'm sticking with it. Defense has never looked better headed into the NFC Championship. This is such a weird array of players, but it's an awesome team. And offense has been looking pretty similar, but obviously the addition of Tyreek Hill is a massive one. This team's ready to go, boys. Christmas challenge wheel. If I complete the challenge, I can open one mystery Christmas pack. Ooh. This one is so hard. This is supposed to be for five minute quarters. So I'm going to tone this down just a little bit because this is for five minute quarters. We're going to say 50 plus. 50 plus fantasy points with one player. Tyreek Hill, Sherman, and Gronk. King Duke, what do you got? Yo, let's play ball. Steelers theme team in Pittsburgh. I love that. Jalen Warren, on the kick return. I have never seen a Pittsburgh Steelers theme team. Not in a long time, so I'm excited to see this. I mean, is he really rocking the Kenny Pickett or is there a quarterback that got the Kenny? Oh, Michael Vick gets it. He low-key could have the season three Michael Vick. Definitely could be a run. I'm gonna go on Sherman in case it's a left side run or right side run. It's not. He's gonna whip it early to Jalen Warren. Oh, I'm gonna switch over to Krause this time. Throw another one to the outside. Pitts goes for the juke. We knew it was coming. A slip screen. That's gonna get through. Nice play. Here comes the juke. This is exactly how the wild card started, too. I was just getting dotted up. At back wheel. It's gonna go low to Warren. Oh, wow. Okay. I might have to man up. Ooh, read option. That's sketchy. Sherman makes the tackle and Vicks in open field. All right. This is a pass. I'm sending a blitz. I'm on this. Get there, Sherman. Oh, Sherman on Jalen Warren. I thought Sherman would break that up. Nice catch. I'm going to play underneath on that halfback wheel route. He appears to be chewing clock. What are we doing? It's going to take off with Vic once again. He's going to make a mistake. He's playing good right now, but he's going to make a mistake. Dude, why are we chewing clock in the first quarter, bro? Go the fuck outside. Why, are we, why do people do that? I dove a little early here with Elam, to say the least. How am I going to get 50 plus fantasy points with one player when you're chewing clock in the first quarter? This could be another stretch run, maybe to the opposite side. Yes. Wow. Holy shit, did I call that? And <laughs> Jalen Warren, wow. Hey, hey, only two yards. That's a good stop. Uh, dude, all this guy's doing is making me want to win this game even more. How do you do this? You're making this game so unfun. He's going to snap him. Two seconds left, he's gonna run the same fucking stretch. Josh Allen with the tackle. Love to see it, baby. There's the whole first quarter in the books, ladies and gentlemen. He's got the right side check down. He steps up in the middle. Oh, we need a fumble there. Fourth and four? He's just going for it. I got everything off that I wanted to get off. I got Vince Wolfork and a QB spy. I don't think he'll be able to scramble this. Get there! And he caught. Oh my god, the amount of bodies I have there for him. That is, is he still gonna chew clock? Is he gonna take it down to two minutes left when I get this ball? Yup, he hands it off. Doesn't get it. Second and goal. Yeah, I can't wait for this this clock chew nonsense to bite him in the ass. Same exact play. Derwin! Third and goal! Come on, do it again. 
He passes. I saw him audible and I audible to zone. Lurk on the goal line. Starting this drive on the five, I get ball at half. Come on! It didn't matter. Sherman or Krause was gonna have that. If I if I convert here, he will heavily regret that decision. Let's see if we can get something anyway. Oh yeah, Achan. Oh yeah, Achan. Second and one. Oh no, it's double. Johnny Football's gonna get the first down. First and ten. Let's try it. Get Tyree Kill with the block. Diary kill blocking. I like it. I'm going to go with the play action tight end scissors to Gronk. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That play is new. That's so, so stupid. I think he's in a Tampa 2. Tyreek! Juke! Let's go! First and 10. Oh my god, what a risky pass. Fox ticking. We're going to Von Achan. And he is. He vacates that zone. Achan will take seven yards. Jamar might have him in man coverage. Oh, I might have had Tyreek, too. But okay, I've got a little bit of time here. Throw this away. Oh, he blitzed fucking prime. Oh, nice play. He played inside on the juke there. That definitely could have been a touchdown if I played that better. Evo Samuel. Second and inches, just can't turn the ball over. I'll take the smoke. Oh! It's him! He played deep smoke screen. You don't see that every day. The smoke screen to HN. 17 seconds left. That obviously stops the clock. We've still got a timeout. I love the seven, but I don't need it. Honestly, I do not need it. He's there. Gronk, step up. Big catch. Timeout. First and goal on the four. Oh, God. It's got to be so open or I can't take it, though. And I can't get sacked. I'm going to guess that this is man coverage. And I'm looking for Gronk on the win. If not, I could just throw this away. Gronk. Oh no, but he's got it covered. Second and goal. Good defense. It was man coverage, but he also adjusted. Ooh, that he played that so well. What if he's playing inside on Jamar? Look at that. Oh, get rid of it. Get rid of it. I almost didn't get a field goal on it. That was really, he, dude, he adjusted that so well. That was great defense. Third and goal. Harrison Butker makes it easy. Three to zero and I get ball at half. I really hope he regrets all that shoot black bullshit. Get fucked, idiot. <laughs> Let's go! Johnny football! That's gorgeous. An aggressive drop back. Try to step up with the user. Couldn't get home. He's blitzing, uh, he's blitzing off that edge. Tyreek, beauty. First and 10. I'm making adjustments and shit. I'm here to play. It's inside stuff on Mean Joe. We can definitely blow this up, but I want to try it. Oh, Asian! Yes, man! Asian! And so, let's go! Devon Asian! 10 to 0. He's got to score. He's got to score fast. Ironically, if he took as long as he took in the first half to score here, the game would end. Isn't that insane? I've been running cover four drop. He comes out in this hatback. Yeah, this is it. So this is hatback wheel, basically. This is tough. This is a tough formation for him to run, though. Like, he's not chunking yardage. He's getting check downs. Oh, but now he's going to try and chunk yardage. He checks down. That's a tough catch. But that clock is ticking. That's five yards. I took the corner out with Ray. He's got eight. He's got eight. But he doesn't have it anymore. Throw this. I dare you. Canard! Oh my god, are you? I got a swat. That's my fault. That was stupid. I got a swat there. I got a swat there. First and 10. He gets all the way down to the 35. Nice play. Okay, and he's going to run it. Just play action. No, he's going to run it. Ooh, Bruce Smith. Bruce Smith's all over it. Tried to hit a seam. Doesn't catch it. He's looking at third and 13. Seam beater. <laughs> You didn't use six minutes of the first half, huh? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be a bummer if you used six minutes of the first half and then you turned it over on the five and then all of a sudden in the third quarter, you're down 10 and when you throw the pick, the game's just over? Wouldn't that be a bummer? Couldn't be me though. Me personally, I could never be in that situation. Hey!
Dude, another challenge wheel bailout too because I was not getting 55 plus, but I'm certainly opening a present. I will say though, getting presents is super tedious. When you guys are watching this video, hopefully there are better ways, but right now the only way to get them is from the field pass and from quick selling the stocking stuffer players which is diabolical because the highest overall stocking stuffers I'm finding are 82 overall. Like, there's literally nothing else. And each of these quick sells for like 110 or something, 110 snowflakes. Purchasing the MILF hunter over and over to send him to snowflake hell. Dude, thinking about that game though, I think the best strategy I've ever come up with now is the triple lurk artist. Like, can you imagine any linebacker trying to jump and make that play if they don't have lurk artists? They would never, they would never do that. This also fully proves my theory. A couple of videos ago, I was talking about this theory that does lurk artist only work if you're using the player? The answer is no. It works no matter what. Because right there, I was using Paul Krause. And Ray Lewis decided to bunny hop and take that shit. All right, we got a thousand snowflakes. I'm going to open one mystery present that we'll get to open on the Christmas episode. Mystery present number two. Our first one was a lavish present. I think we're going to get that lucky again, but I still want to find out. Our mystery present is... It's a simple present. It's a simple blue present with a silver bow, nothing fancy. So on the Christmas special, we'll have a lavish Seahawks present and we'll have this blue silver simple present. Keep in mind, the Christmas special will not post on Christmas. Me nor my editor will be working on Christmas. Sorry guys. So it'll be after Christmas, but it'll still be an awesome episode. And naturally, the greatest but scariest thing you can see in Wheel of Mud history, Super Bowl! Win the Super Bowl to become a season Seasons champion. Wow, it's a hard fought season, boys. But after a rage quit in the wild card and a rage quit in the NFC championship, we find ourselves here. Wow, for two straight episodes, you get to see the get gooder wheel. One spin on the rage quit wheel for forcing a rage quit in the NFC championship of all places. Steal a player? Bro, he had that TJ Watt. Yeah, Joey Porter Jr. at corner. Dude, I think I want Joey Porter Jr. at corner. TJ Watt would be insane, but dude, I don't need it. Derek Thomas is honestly this close to being as good as TJ Watt. They're very similar. And obviously TJ Watt can't play coverage as well as Derek Brooks or this Josh Allen. I think I get Joey Porter Jr. and then I move Kennard to CB3 and Kyrie Elam comes out of the lineup. Kyrie Elam actually goes to free safety too. That's weird to think about, but I do think that's the move. So funny enough, he actually had both Joey Porters. He had Joey Porter Sr., the limited outside linebacker, but the Joey Porter Jr. that he had is what I want. My corners are a little bit outdated. Still, like Elam, Elam's outdated. As much as I love him, this Joey Porter Jr. is insane. 92 speed, six foot two. So he's as tall as Elam, but better everything else. Let's actually compare him real quick. So Joey Porter Jr., five speed faster than Elam, four XL, better man coverage, little less zone, better press, little less Yo, I'm gonna do this. But can we just get a little round of applause to Kyir Elam? Kyir Elam came out months ago. And throughout this season, Kyir Elam has made some incredible plays. Shout out Elam. I appreciate everything you did for us, Kyir. And Joey Porter Jr. is just flying off the shelf. Could I fucking buy this guy? Taking down the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh my God, shutting out the Pittsburgh Steelers theme team. You know what? That's actually pretty accurate. The, the Steelers scoring no points. That's just, that's just Matt Canada on the sticks. Matt Canada's got a lot of free time now. He just builds theme teams and reps replicates his offense. All right, Joey Porter Jr. to CB2, and then Terry Kennard to CB3. Still, dude, I still love this Terry Kennard, though. This guy's a dog. I love him. And then my backup free safety will become Kyir Elam, since honestly, like, he's kind of got the build for it a little better than Jerry Jacobs anyways. He's, he's four inches taller. I'm also going to switch my secondary sub linebacker. I don't think that should be Paul Krause there on nickel. I actually think this should be Josh Allen. Josh Allen's actually disgusting. He's six foot five with 93 speed and lurk artist. Like Gentlemen! The very next episode of Wheel of Mutt, two things happen. Number one, it's the Super Bowl. We have a chance at our third Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl ring. It'll be the Christmas Super Bowl. I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. And the second thing is we need to determine a new prestige player. Prestige players are always locked into our lineup and we're always entitled the best version possible. Rob Gronkowski, for example, is a prestige player on this team. So since he got that cover athlete, I was entitled to the cover athlete. Jamar Chase is another prestige on this team. When James is a prestige on this team, Nick Bosa is a prestige on this team, but Nick Bosa has been so dog shit that he's actually been replaced. And then Harrison Butker is another prestige on this team. This was an unorthodox prestige, but I was guaranteed an ability kicker. And honestly, Harrison Butker has been so clutch that 
I think it was definitely the right decision. Looking at this team right now, Sherman would be an insane prestige. I don't know if Richard Sherman gets another card though. I love Richard Sherman, cover athletes nasty, but got a legend early on, 87 overall. Does he end up getting an ultimate legend? Maybe. Justin Simmons low-key could be a good prestige. Ray Lewis, obviously a very, very good option. Locking in a Lurk Artist Cover Athlete Limited. Also has a good chance to get another card down the line. Outside linebacker Josh Allen would be an interesting one because technically if I prestige Josh Allen, I also could use the quarterback Josh Allen. But I don't like the prestige quarterbacks. I think my defensive line are off the table. I don't see any of these guys being a good prestige. Other than maybe Bruce Smith who definitely has the potential, but I technically have Nick Bosa down here. So I don't know. Joey Porter Jr. So maybe. I would like to prestige a corner though. So Sherman's looking like a good option. Offensively, there's nobody that jumps out to me, to be honest. Tyree Kill's the only guy I would consider prestiging, but then I'd have two prestiged wide receivers. Devon Achan could get a team of the year running back. He has had a very good year, but I don't like to prestige running backs either. So to me, it's between Sherman, Ray Lewis, Bruce Smith, Joey Porter Jr., and potentially Vince Wilfork. I think it will be a defensive prestige. All right, boys. NFC Championship in the book. I can't wait for the Super Bowl. I love you guys so much. I'll let my voice recover and then I'll record. Love you boys. Peace.